Hello friends, this is Ganesh and today I'm going to show you a few discussion questions about types, one of the declarative statements. Let's get into the slides first. So the basic understanding before getting to the questions, what does user define and what does predefined data type? So once you have the clarity, then it's very easy to understand the question which is related to types declarative statement. Okay. So every language you have two things, predefined and user defined. Predefined is always uh, from the language perspective. So by default, they have their own predefined uh, built-in data types. Okay. We just make use of it. Second thing, we have to create our own meaning the user defined data type so whenever there is a necessity okay it's very rare we are using uh, uh, creating a data type same like character same like integer say same like the predefined data type so mostly we used to uh, create a user defined data type is a structure because the structure is it's very depends on every development so more mostly we go with the structure as considered as a user defined data type other than that we have options but we are not creating very often of creating or replicating the predefined data type as a user defined for example i want a character with this different name i want the integer to be replicated we are not doing that very very often okay but we have an option so this is the difference between predefined and uh, user defined data type so in a perspective we mostly create structures uh, for a user defined data type okay and uh, the next question is what is the keyword which is using to uh, create the user defined data type in a so it's nothing but types so types is a keyword which helps to create a user defined data type <coughs> excuse me Okay, I have a few uh, statements here. Uh, the question is, uh, which statements are creating user defined data type with this declaration? Okay, so I have two different uh, declarative statements. One is data, another one is types. So uh, I'm not talking about type over here. I'm just talking about types. Okay, so type is another keyword. So here you have a type and like also. So some creation to happen here. So three different uh, data objects or variables and here also uh, three parameters you have. So uh, which actually creates uh, user defined data type. So the answer is this, this one. So it creates PAR1 as an integer data type and here PAR2 is creates again integer because it refers PAR1. It already uh, created as an integer data type. So here this is also again another integer data type and like variable one. So like also helps to copy the technical aspects of the source. So what is the source? Source is a var2 like var1. Oh sorry, var1 right? Okay, var1 type C. So the PAR3 is considered as a character data type. Okay, user defined data type. So mostly we won't do this, but this is a way to create or replicate uh, data type for the uh, consider as a user defined data type. So now I have three different new data types in my program. So this is just for a program it's available. It's not going to be affected the, the, the base repository of or predefined data type of your app. Okay, it's just for the uh, temporary sake if you want you can create it. So the statements creates three different data types. And one more clarification how, how, uh, how we can say these are data types. So have this in your program, keep a breakpoint and just see how uh, in, in the breakpoint how the variables or this PA or parameters are recognized. So these are recognized as variables where one, where two, where three recognized as variables or data object which created using data. And par one, par two, par three or saying it's not a variable or a data object. This because this is a user defined data type okay difference between types and data so mostly it, it comes uh, most of the discussions so uh, 
I have collected a few maybe if, if you have you can add some uh, other lines as well so types is used to create uh, user defined data type that's very clear now and the data is used to create a data object or a data medium uh, using a predefined or user defined data type also suppose uh, the previous uh, slide I have created par one as an integer data type pre or user defined integer data type excuse me then with the help of data you can create a data object or integer variable okay with the help of this par1 data type okay so that's what it's it's uh, listed over here either predefined or user defined data type as well and user defined data type you can create a, like you can create a data type or you can create a structure or you can create a table type okay we have a few options to do that and it, it's it's keep on going i listed only few and the data which used to create a variable or data object or work area body of internal table or object reference okay and then this is actually a, a user defined mostly it's kind of a structure so it won't uh, able to allocate a memory because it's data types okay there is no space or very simple it won't hold the data so that is the reason you're not able to allocate the memory for it but the data yes memory allocation also possible that is also clearly uh, cleared whenever you see in the debugging level okay so difference between types and data then uh, what is the syntax to create a user defined structure so very often we are creating a structure for a user defined data type so the, so the syntax is types begin of any user defined name and you can go with field one field two field three type like so here also you, you can either use type or like so we need the technical aspects only from the source source can be anything it can be a data element or uh, your predefined uh, data type depends on that you can able to do what and then end of the same structure name okay and uh, probably the next one would be how to create a nested user defined structure so the previous slide you have a structure i want to include one more structure inside of that so we use uh, the keyword called include structure and the structure name you have to use it okay um that is a syntax mistake one second So it should be like this types and here if you see the structure ends because we need to use another statement okay and then if you have one more uh, field or structure whatever you want to introduce so you need uh, types so chain operator is not important because you need one statement but I just used it so type source so it's just a source no not in caps okay and then uh, this is the statement ends and you have to use another types to close your structure little syntax you have to be careful whenever you use the input structure statement inside one more structure okay so this is a way you have to create a user defined structure uh, so hope it, it gives a basic idea of types or what kind of uh, questions you may get it just play around and uh, if you have any doubts on this please let me know and thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video. Bye.